All right, so Jeff, let's start with some definitions here. First sure. of all, what is a polar vortex? All right, the polar vortex happens every single winter. Mm -hmm. uh, during the winter time, it's located near the Arctic Circle. Every once in a while, a piece of the polar vortex will break off. It's kind of the jet stream dives all the way to the south. That is what has happened here, although this is kind of a colder piece than would typically break off. And that's the reason why we have all this cold air spilling south. You can see that counterclockwise flow. So essentially, it's just a big storm, if you will, that's usually in the Arctic and the upper levels of the atmosphere. But unfortunately, it has traveled all the way south into the United States. And and we're seeing some of the coldest air we've ever seen, or at least on record, in many decades. And how cold is it going to be on Wednesday morning, then? So Chicago may see close to an all-time record. The all-time record low is 27 below zero. This is what we're Not forecasting. Not a feels-like temperature, no, an actual temperature. that's the temperature. actual low temperature. Uh, Brainerd, uh, Minnesota, 31 below. Oh. Chicago, about uh, 25 below, about 10 below in Detroit. So it is really going to be very chilly uh, on Wednesday morning. And eventually that's going to be moving to the East Coast as well. Oh, my gosh. I'm from mm -hmm. Chicago. I just don't even remember that punishing of a It's of very a rare. 1985 is the last time it hit uh, negative 27 and the yeah. coldest it's ever been. It'll be close. Yeah. Well, what is it going to feel like with the wind chills themselves, actually, on Wednesday morning? You may want to close your eyes. I mean, but this is some really, this, these are dangerous wind chills that yeah. we're talking about. Painfully, as we headed to. Cold. painfully cold, honestly, painfully cold because the wind blows away that layer of heat right by your skin. Mm -hmm. And so it's going to feel like negative 56 in Madison, mm -hmm. about 47 below in Chicago, about 33 below in Detroit, a picnic tomorrow morning in New York City, feeling like 15 <laughs> degrees. And I say that because wait until you see Thursday mornings feels like temperatures. We're going to go to that graphic now. On Thursday morning, that whole mass of cold air is going to head east, and places like New York City are likely to see wind chills 14 to 20 below. Stay in bed if you're oh in New York. 41 below in Detroit. No rest for the weary in Chicago. It's going to feel like 51 below zero again on Thursday morning. So, Ugh. again, this is dangerous cold air. You can't even really joke about the yeah. cold air that we're going to be seeing. Right, absolutely. I mean, it is deadly cold. Yes, it deadly is. Cold. Absolutely. So, um, there is a big warm-up coming, though, Jeff, and I wonder when can we expect to see that? How warm is it going to get? Wait until you see this. I have this great graphic to show you just how cold it is now, mm -hmm. relatively speaking, and how warm it's going to be as we head into Sunday. Okay. So basically, it's about 50 degrees below, below normal right now around Chicago, northwest to around Des Moines. Look at what happens on Sunday. We're 30 degrees <gasps> above normal. What? Some places will see an 80 degree swing in temperatures from tomorrow to Sunday. I mean, talk about whiplash. What's happening Extreme there? weather. I mean, we're seeing more extremes in the weather. We talk about it all the time. There's a chance that there may be some climate connection to this. In fact, I'm going to be talking about that tomorrow morning uh, on CBS. And we're going to be talking about the possible climate uh, connection. Take a look at the temperatures we're expecting on Sunday. I mean, this is going to be great. This is going to feel so good once we get to Sunday in the Midwest. 48 <gasps> for an actual They'll be wearing shorts and flip-flops. I, I know mean, it. they'll be swimming. <laughs> yeah. But don't swim in the lake. It'll still yeah. be cold. 51 in Des Moines, a uh, 56 in Cleveland, and 51 uh, in Detroit. So Absolutely, it's going to get nicer. Yeah. yeah. All right, Jeff Berardelli, thanks so much, Jeff. You're always welcome. great to see. You.